Well, good evening everyone and welcome to a new live stream here in South Tenerife. We are in Las Americas and I am absolutely Hank Marvin today. It's been a crazy day with work. I'm really hungry. So you've all got to help me pick a Chinese to try that we haven't done before. There's one option just here where I parked, which is the Merleon, right above Veronica's strip here, or we can carry on further. Someone mentioned the slow boat in Puerto Colon. I'm open to ideas. I fancy a Chinese. I'm certainly hungry and we can enjoy a nice evening walk as well. So welcome along everyone. I hope you all had a fantastic week. Uh, we've done a lot of live streams on the channel, so thank you all very much for tuning into those. And uh, yeah, just starting off above Veronica's Strip, which is very quiet at the moment. But of course, later on, this will be a little bit more lively. Sunday night, uh, the weekends are always a lot busier down here at Veronica's. Okay, so just park the car there for free and have the nice little free space in the automatic T-Cross today. Don't forget, if you want to hire a car in Tenerife, serasti.com. You can have it delivered to your hotel, picked up, dropped off at the airport. Whichever you fancy, that's what I've been mental with today. It's been one of those days today where uh, anything that could go wrong did go wrong. One of those. Uh, how's it going, Debbie, Sarah, Sophie, Paula, Eugene? So, where should we go for Chinese then? No one really fancying a Merleon then, no? We'll carry on and have a little walk then, maybe. No one's really jumped out about that one. Just fancy a Chinese, but I want to try something different. Somewhere new that we've not been before would be good. How's it going? Gaz, Susan, Luke, Dominic, I am all good. Thank you very much. Hectic day. Uh, ended up opening the bar late. We didn't open until four o'clock. Normally open at one o'clock. Uh, <laughs> it was just one of them. It's hard to even explain, really. It was just one of those, like, continuous days and phone calls over that car that went missing. And, yeah, it was just one of them. Uh, try mailings all you can eat. Is that all you can eat in there, is it? In Merleon's. Merleon? All you can eat. Interesting. I mean, I'm hungry, but I don't know whether I can eat like all you can eat, you know, buffet style. I'm open to suggestions though. I'm open to it. It's, it's actually looks pretty cold, doesn't it, with the clouds around? It's actually not bad at all. I am just in a t-shirt and it's a new t-shirt that a lovely subscriber bought for me. Uh, a new Hugo Boss Everton Blue. So uh, thank you very much if you're watching. It's that lovely and comfy, and yet it's not as cold as it probably looks on the camera. It was a mixed bag again today though, a bit of cloud around and didn't have a full sunny day like I hoped. Uh, Mrs Miyagi's, we did try that before on the channel. Uh, we tried the one in Xair. Could go back and try it again, that's in the other direction. I'm, I'm asking for all your help here guys. I'm completely open to any suggestions you want to throw at me really. Uh, slow boat, where is the slow boat? Uh, spoiler, I know, very, very kind gift. Very, very kind and uh, love it. So I have to go straight on, straight on. Uh, 1,163 are joining us live. Thank you very much. Happy Sunday, Sunday Night Live. I was actually down here uh, this morning. I jumped on uh, Travel On World's TikTok live stream for a, a quick 15 minutes or so. So you probably did see, might have seen me down here this morning if anyone tuned into that. See, this is where I get a little bit lost. I don't know where to go. Should we head to Puerto Colón and try that one in the marina? There you get the slow boat. A few people are mentioning that. Maybe we'll have a good walk down Puerto Colón, down into that Chinese. What do you think? I'm quite indecisive, so. Uh, Taipan can't get really, can't really get in Taipan. Done that loads on the channel as well. I'm I want to try somewhere new, a new option for you all to maybe have a little look at. Merleon's is decent, slightly expensive. So it's slow boat or slow boat or Merleon, guys. Where do you fancy? Do you fancy a boat that goes slow? In terms of the boat, the crash yesterday, unfortunately, I don't know whether it's gone now. It was still there this afternoon, battered. Uh, water all inside it. It's a goner, I think. Uh, they took too long to sort it. Uh, the guy. I was still sitting on it though. What I didn't realise was uh, he didn't want to get off it because the minute you get off the boat, abandoned and open anyone to claim. So that's why he wouldn't get off it. Because if he did, anyone could go on it, get it away, and it's theirs basically. It becomes like uh, lost. So he was still sitting on it today, even though it's finished to me. It's full of water. 
I cannot see them getting that back to life at all. Hi, yeah, you okay? All right, you? All good, thanks to you. you. Have a good time? Yeah, good. Thank right, you very you much. Bit. You off anywhere nice? We're just going really up to a decky. Nice. Yeah, so oh, enjoy. Uh, YouTube today. YouTube, is it? All right. Have right. a good day. No worries, thank you. There you go, nice family off for, uh, off for a little mooching to Costa Radecki. So yeah, it was still there, it was just battered, absolutely battered. I think all the holes had just worn its way through all night. So if you did see that stream yesterday with the, with the boat, uh, that was that. Uh, how's the signal by the slow boat? We'll see you, Anthony. We're going to find out, aren't we? Let's uh, see what happens. You never know what's going to happen on a live stream. You never know. Uh, someone did send me a super chat and I can't find it. Thank you very much, whoever that was. Let me try to scroll back and find it. It's uh, come up on the screen there and I've missed it because there's so many comments. So I do apologise, I'm not ignoring anyone. It was Paul Sheldon. Thank you very much, Paul, for the super chat. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you very much. I hope you've all had a good weekend. What's everyone been up to? Wow, there's tons of comments in here tonight. 1,400 are tuned in right now. Wow, thank you very much. We're, we're in Las Americas. Yes, we're in Las Americas again. <laughs> I, I thought about maybe going to play a San Juan, but I'd rather do it next week when it's a little bit more sunny. And the way today went, I thought, the way my luck's been, I'll get to San Juan and everything will be short and I won't eat. Yeah, please say hello to Fiona Sharp. How's it going, Fiona? Thanks for joining us. Happy Sunday. Well, Sunday Night Lives are sort of getting back into the routine now. I know a lot of you tune in for these lives. And I uh, really do appreciate it. There's your Monkey Beach Kong Bar. Do love the theme in there. It's nice, isn't it, with the fire heaters. They're what I'm trying to get for the roof uh, on our bar, those fire heaters, these things. So it looks like we're going to the slow boat in Puerto Colón then. So if you've been there before, let me know if you uh, enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, what did you have? I'm thinking the whole, the whole works. Chicken and sweet corn soup. I always have crispy chili chicken, so I should go for something else. Lemon shallow. Lemon shallow is not, not Chinese, is it, Peter? Uh, not been up to much, Dan. Been working. A few of you been grafting. Good stuff. Can you say hi to Poppy? Hi, Poppy. Getting very excited for our holiday to Tenerife. If you're on your way over, the weather is improving. It did improve today. A little bit of cloud around. There was a little bit of snow up Mount Tady as well, but not a huge amount. El Toro Loco. Thank you very much for the super chat as well. Much appreciated. Oh, this is nice. The temperature right now is just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, James Connor, thank you very much for the super chat as well. Have a fab Chinese scene in July. Thank you very much, James. I sure will. And uh, we'll see you around. Uh, has Dave gone back to Lanzarote? Not yet. He's been filming more videos today. Uh, he was out and about on the tuk-tuks. There's a thing that we filmed on the channel before. The little tuk-tuks, he was filming them. Uh, I think he's filmed Laura Park. Laura Park's restaurant, I think there's loads coming up. He's got a lot coming up uh, that he's been filming, so. He's uh, still got one of our cars. I think he's got a few days left, I think. Yeah, lovely guy, lovely guy. Can you call into Sunset Bay? Uh, there would be a bit of a vibe in there, but it's a bit off where we're heading to, really. Uh, that's more on the back street, Sunset Bay. Uh, the Wilsons, by any chance, they might be. I know they're over soon. Good stuff. Tuk Tuk's are great fun, they are, and really good value as well. Really good value, they are. Very good value. Uh, Martin Wass, thank you very much for the super chat as well. Once uh, grounded, think this, uh, the boat was a goner. I know, I know. I did, I tuned on thinking there was going to be a bit of a boat rescue, you know, tow them away and... But uh, nothing happened in the end and then it just got battered all night long and it's taken on loads of water and stuff and... 
that's that, unfortunately. Please say hi to Sophie Sanders. How's it going, Sophie? 1700 tuned in now. Wow. Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome along. I do appreciate you tuning in. If you can do me one big favour, and that's just hit the like button. And that really does uh, help us out. But uh, from here in Tenerife, happy Sunday. Hope you have a wonderful week. We're off for a Chinese meal on a Sunday. Can't really be better, can it? If you've had a rough day in work, a takeaway or a meal out sorts it, doesn't it? You had one of those real rough days. If you get home and you're just like, either order your takeaway or you grab something on the way home, or even better, you head out for a little meal. Sort it right out. DJ Tony had to be done. Had to be done, you know? Hey, good stuff. Good stuff. But now in general, Tenerife at the moment, very busy, very busy. Anything you want to do, book it in advance, 100%. Especially now, Next week is going to be a bit of a backlog. A lot of people's excursions and stuff were cancelled over the last few days with the weather, the boat trips, etc. So there is now going to be a bit of a backlog. Uh, people are desperately getting on all those now. It's all back running again. The weather's better. So do uh, plan ahead as much as you can. Okay, there's the uh, H10 Casino. Anyone been in the casino? I love going to the casino at home in Liverpool. I do like a little bit of roulette, I will admit. I don't like many things. <laughs> I don't do drinking and stuff like that, really. But I, don't mind, I don't mind a little go on roulette. But over here, everyone always puts me off. They always say it's a bit dodgy in there. The uh, casino over here. Right. Okay, we've well, got to talk over this uh, music here. Got to talk over this, otherwise I'm going to end up in trouble. She's having a good time. Right. Got to talk over that, that background track. Could uh, get us in a bit of trouble here. Have you tried the Mongolian restaurant near you? I have. I've vlogged it on the channel. It's on there. Uh, Annette, I missed your super chat. I'm really sorry. Uh, Annette, it goes so quickly. Let me scroll back. I uh, do apologise. Neil Saw as well. I missed yours. Uh, over Easter Sunday with grandkids. Uh, PM, if you need out, thank you very much, Neil. Much appreciated, very kind offer. I hope you're having a fab uh, weekend. I apologize, it's just going so quick. I get to see about two comments on the screen, it goes, uh, Annette, thank you very much. Please can you say to me and my fiance, uh, Jamie, we got engaged on Monday and uh, watched the videos all the time. So massive congratulations, guys. Annette and Jamie engaged on Monday. Wonderful news, big congratulations. Get yourself over to Tenerife and celebrate is my advice. Get over here. Uh, Mark and Carol, thank you very much for the super chat as well, wow. Uh, Andrew, we fly this Saturday, eight nights. Can't wait, have a wonderful time, Mark and Carol. You can look forward to all of this. Nighttime vibes, picking where to eat at night, having a little drink and a cocktail somewhere. Sunsets, smell of the ocean, all of that good stuff. Okay, so we're heading towards Puerto Colón, which isn't too far from here. And we're gonna have a Chinese meal. You're all gonna pick what I'm having as well. Never been here before in my life. Let's hope we get some good signal. Let's hope there's even a table. And that we'll enjoy. Could be an option for you when you're over here on holiday. Have you ever been to Ganges, Indian? I haven't. I haven't. There's so many Indians over here, so many you could try. I always say everyone's got their favorites. Everyone likes things differently. I like my naan bread like that. Oh no, I like my naan bread like that. Everyone's got their own little take on it. Same with Chinese uh, as well. A lot of people love the buffets. Some people prefer it a bit fresh. Hi, yeah, you okay? You're good? Yeah, everyone's got their favourites. Uh, Laura is in buddies, working hard. Uh, she's on with uh, Logan, our Floridian girl. And they are smashing it tonight. We are a staff member down tonight, so if you are in, do be patient, but those girls, they absolutely smash it. 
if you've seen them on before, they run rings around and they absolutely smash it. So if you do fancy a little cocktail in Los Cristianos, Buddy's Bar, that's uh, our latest little venture. And they're going very well with that. I did post up on our YouTube uh, community earlier. Uh, big thank you to anyone who's come down and had a drink, said hello, liked the Facebook page, followed us on TikTok, etc. It, it doesn't go unnoticed and we really do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you, you have a great time. We always check. Everyone enjoys the cocktails and stuff and we do our best to look after everyone as well, give everyone a great time. Uh, what's the plan for Sunday? I've seen your other video that you were going to do an egg hunt or something. Uh, I'm not too sure yet. We're working on those final details. There'll be something fun. Definitely going to do an Easter cocktail. We've already got the bits for that. Right, well, we're nearly at uh, Puerto Colón anyway. It's nearly dinner time. I hope you've enjoyed our bit of a stroll. Gives you the proper evening holiday vibes, watching people eat and drink. I think that's why I get tempted to eat out so much. Is that all the people eating and drinking? Proper holiday vibes. Makes you want to join in. First time was the Tenerife on Tuesday. Amanda, enjoy it. Soak it all in. Uh, let's see. Darren Taggart, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, watching from pra uh, Park Santiago 3. Fantastic. Hope you're having a lovely time. Great resort, that one. I love the pool area outside there. Very popular, that. Deliver cars there all the time as well. And it's uh, probably one of the easiest to deliver to, even though it's got no parking outside. It's uh, one of the easiest ones to meet our clients at, that one. Smiley face, thank you very much for the super chat as well. Wow. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, wish I was back in Tenerife. Love the sunset and the atmosphere. Oh, there you go. You're catching all live with us. We've got 1,600 people tuned in and amazing numbers. Thank you very much. Do please hit that like button though. Don't forget. Oh, do I sound out of breath? I'm walking quite quickly here. <laughs> Definitely hungry. Now, don't forget as well, if you do rent a car, whoever it's from, Whatever you do, don't park like an idiot. And we had more people towed away today, completely unnecessarily, basically next to the entrance of an underground car park. And what would have cost them, you know, five quid, end up cost them about 100 quid in a tow away fee and uh, the parking fine that's gonna come. So just park properly. If you can't get a space, just go in those undergrounds. They're not mega bucks couple of euros an hour they're not crazy prices uh, just watching your live can't wait till the end of May I can't believe it's, it's we're coming up to April can't believe that if it's like yesterday it was 2024 bringing in the new year now it's nearly April. What happened to the last three months? Now this one's interesting. I think this is gone. This restaurant here, if anyone knows any info, I think this is gone, this one. Bistro Ricardo's. I think this one's gone. I could be wrong, but it looks pretty, uh, pretty defeated down there. Hopefully not, or hopefully something takes over if it has, but get married on the 18th of May, back over to Tenerife for two weeks, the 19th of May. There you go. What a honeymoon that'll be. Have you got any particular plans when you're over? Laura Emmett, thank you very much for the super chat. Wow. Thank you very much, everyone. We'll, let, we'll get a nice Chinese with all of this. Um, can you say hi to Anthony, Andy and Jane? Hi guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Much appreciated, 1800 now watching. Welcome along South Tenerife, we're heading towards Puerto Colón. So we're currently now in Costa Radecki. And we're gonna be trying the slow boat Chinese, something I've never tried before. 
I have tried Mishi, which is the one below. I have tried that one before, which was decent. But everyone then said on that video that I should have gone to the slow boat. So we're going to have a slow boat ride. And hopefully I don't end up like the one in Los Cristianos yesterday. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, amazing numbers. Thank you very much. All of the streams this week have done uh, very, very well. And I really do appreciate you tuning in. I'm watching. Hopefully it brings some info for you all. And keep track of what's going on. And uh, Amanda, uh, Anne-Marie, no shamrocks tonight. No shamrocks. I had another email mentioning that. Shamrocks, shaking them and all that. Tell you what. <laughs> don't, don't even start it. Don't even go there. That was, that was, that was ages ago. Forget about it. It's gone. It's done. They're shaking. I'm gone. <laughs> We're moving on. Here you go, Catherine's on, how's it going? I don't know if mum and dad are on, but hi mum and dad, they'll be watching on catch up if they're not. Probably out on the lash. Probably out on the lash. Dad's over in a few weeks. He's over, just posted a TikTok of when we took him to Cyan Park last time. He's lost a ton of weight since then. My word, I looked, I was like, whoa, he's huge in this. I mean, I can talk, but blooming neck, you really can't see his weight loss when you look back. And it's funny as well, he's got the mask hanging around under his chin because it was just after covid you have to wear masks but uh, yeah i think i'm definitely going to be taking dad back to Cyan park uh, paul sheldon thank you very much for the super chat as well very generous thank you very much everyone being very uh, generous tonight thank you very much let's go and enjoy a nice chinese now how do you get down to it is my question how do you get down to the slow but i know it's sort of underneath me now do you go down this way and in or can you enter it from another way? If anyone knows, let me know. Uh, I can't talk about what happened to the car just yet. Uh, there was a, had a huge uh, bit of a barney with uh, someone on the phone today that it was then eventually smoothed out. But yeah, that was an hour of stress going on. Wow, it's very quiet tonight, very quiet. You can see the tide is right out there. See the tide line where it has been gone right out tonight. But yeah, it's very quiet I'm about Peking Garden. What about that one? Is that the one I'm thinking of? So I'm not even thinking of... So where's the slow boat then? I'm lost here. I thought this was the slow boat, but this is Peking Garden. Where's the slow boat then? Am I completely lost or what? I thought we were going here. Someone help me out because <laughs> I'm looking for the slow boat. I thought this was the slow boat, but this is Peking Garden. So where's the slow boat when it's at home? I can't see it and I can't use Google Maps because I'm on the phone. It's downstairs and around the corner. Right, so we're not going here then. I thought we were going here. Right, okay. I do live in Tenerife, believe it or not. Right, slow boat. Peking Garden's not great. Well, I want to do the slow boat anyway. That's what everyone commented about. Never tried that, so I can't comment on it. If I've not tried it, I can't comment. And I've never tried it. Um, uh, the boat didn't get rescued. I think it's still there this afternoon, unless it's gone now. But this afternoon it was in a bad way. It's taken on loads of water. It's finito, in my opinion. It's behind all the bars. Which bars? Oh, hey, I'm lost here. <laughs> I'm lost. So down here is, uh, well, we're here. You've got all kinds of little bars and stuff. You've got the Galway Gale down there, popular Irish bar. Uh, you've also got the Kegan Church, which is great for the live music. You've got the pool centre. If you like a bit of pool, darts, snooker, good place to come for all of that. That bar just there, down a floor and right. Near Harley's. Harley's is right up there, isn't it? Harley's is um, right up the hill, isn't it, and along? No? away i'm lost this isn't good is it uh just down there okay down the stairs right we're going downstairs then okay if it's near harley's we're nowhere near harley's the slow boat is it there? ah there you go well that wasn't hard was it that wasn't hard <laughs> i thought we got there we go right so you get a free bottle of house wine in here apparently 
in the slow, but it's very busy. You might not even get a table. Very busy in here. Freena, this is where we bought the bar from. Uh, Galway girl there. Good little atmosphere in there. Peking garden further along. So there's your Galway girl. Right, will we get a table in the slow boat then? Because it's busy. Very busy. Ooh, a nice little table for one. That might do us if we can sit there. Yeah, it's busy, isn't it? You see, it's popular. Very popular in there. I wonder if we can grab a seat just here. Oh, yeah. You okay? Oh, God, I think I'm going to eat in here. What is it nice? Oh, hey, I might get turned down. Oh, okay. They might. Ah, okay. Just arrived. Long flight. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, all good. Thank you. All good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bit of a whirlwind. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. It's getting better now. The rest of the week will improve. So, yeah. I know, I know, It'll get, it's improving, you'll be fine. But I'll see if he'll squeeze me in, we'll see. Yeah, I'll ask him. If not, it's no problem. Let's we'll see if we can, uh, I mean, it's only me, so I might be able to squeeze him. I might be all right. But it must be, must be popular, he's turning people away, it's that busy. Wow, very popular in here then. Let's see if he'll let me take a seat just here and whether he'll um, let us uh, do our little video in here. Let's have a little nosy at the menu while we're in here then. Oh yeah, it's possible for table for one. Yeah, yeah just here. Perfect. Thank you. There we go. We're in. Super. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. There we go. We're in. 2055 tuned in. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got David Cocker. Thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, we arrive in Tenerife on the 19th of April. Unfortunately, sail away on our cruise on the same day to Corfu. See you in Buddies in August. Fantastic, David. I will see you then. I will see you then. Ooh, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay then, right. Massive menu. Definitely busy in here. Can see why it's uh, popular. Um, Peking Garden is nice. So we're trying out the slow boat. Never been here before, ever. Now this was a good one to try without Laura, uh, not in a nasty way because Laura can't eat too much in the Chinese with her allergies. So since Laura can't join us, we're having a Chinese. We're going for it. Right, let me show you the menu. Let me spin this around for you all. 2050 watching, do please hit the thumbs up everyone. Let's get to a thousand thumbs up. We haven't had a thousand thumbs up on a live stream for a long time. Oh, well it would help if I was showing you the English menu, wouldn't it? That might help. Okay, just say Espanol on the side, Andrew been a long day right here's all your different soups i'm thinking chicken and sweet corn maybe wonton soup we've got prawn crackers i like a prawn cracker vegetarian spring rolls wontons deep fried salt and pepper chicken breast Ooh, that sounds good as well doesn't it beef fried beef and chili sauce satay sauce now i'm normally a chicken man chicken chicken now, someone help me pick a chicken dish on here that isn't crispy chili chicken, because that's all what I always go for. I'll go for something different. How are you? Uh, fried chicken with sweet basil and chili. Uh, Thai style, ooh, chicken curry Thai style. Rice and noodles. Vegetarian options there as well. Specials, you've got a special curry. King prawns as well. If this is any good, Dad, I'll bring you along. King prawns. Dad's tuned in. Then you've got banquets here as well for two people. It's a good deal, isn't it? 16 euros 50. You get soup, prawn crackers, spare ribs, sweet and sour chicken, fried beef and green peppers in black bean sauce and egg fried rice for 16.50. That's like 15 pounds. Bargain. Uh, banquet for three. 21 euros a person. So 16 euros 50 each, you get all of that. It's a good deal, isn't it? You got the slow boat, that special banquet. So they like their banquets in here then. Help me pick a chicken dish then, everyone. A chicken with onion, but I don't do barbecue sauce, so don't pick that one. And I don't do pineapple, so don't pick that one, please. <laughs> uh, let's see, anything else? Okay, then it goes into the Dutch menu, right. There you go, that was the menu. Here in the slow boat. Never been before. Give it a whirl. Uh, let me know what you've all been up to. 
chicken chow mein. Um, got to be a Scouse classic salt and pepper chicken, everyone. Got to be a bit of salt and pepper chicken. to go for. Help me pick sweet and sour chicken. Chicken, let's see, I don't, I don't know whether I'd do the cashew nuts. Don't know about the cashew nuts. Uh, I'm either thinking the chicken curry Thai style or chicken in satay or I see. Uh, ooh, fried chicken with black pepper sauce. What about that one? There are your three options, and then we'll have a bit of egg. We'll have a bit of fried rice and stuff with that. Starter. Do I go for a soup, or do I go for the deep fried salt and pepper chicken breast? Help is needed. Uh, what moon swatch are you wearing? I recently bought the Pluto one from Liverpool. This is the last one that I bought, which is the Neptune. Uh, very lucky to have it. Matches the shirt, you'll notice. Um, and this was from Liverpool as well. Very hard to get this one. I do like the new Pluto one, but it is expensive. 600 odd quid, the new one. Kerry says go for soup. Incredible Wilson's on, how's it going? 2025, get the thumbs go, thumbs up going please guys, it's free. Let's see if we can get our order in, they are busy, so I can't complain. Why am I about to order Chinese? Rebecca, get it done. If you're thinking about it, have a Chinese with me. I'll help you pick. Show me your menu, I'll help you pick yours while you help me pick mine. I think you should all order. Soup's no good for a takeaway if you're ringing in. If you're ringing in, I think you should have the vegetable spring rolls. Uh, failing that, I'd go with the skewered chicken satay if you're going to ring in and get one. And then for your mains, I think you should all go for a fried chicken in satay. They will all have those in all of your local Chinese in England. So ring it in. Deliveroo. Uber Eats. Get it done. Oh, don't forget the prawn crackers as well. I tell you what I don't see often anymore. Hey, uh, yes, please. Could I have a um, can I have a pint? Yeah. Uh, can I order as well? Yeah. Could I have the? Um, I'm going to go for. Oh, sorry. Um, the deep fried salt and pepper chicken. Chicken thigh or chicken breast? Chicken breast, please. Okay. That, that's off the bone. Yeah, no yeah, bone. No bone. Perfect. Um, and can I have the? What do you recommend? The fried chicken with black pepper sauce or the... Oh, you like the green? Ah, okay. Fried chicken with green peppers. Is that the one you recommend? The black pepper is more better. That's the one black being more soft. Okay. That's the black pepper more better. Fried like chicken with black pepper sauce, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you recommend that one? Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay, in the rice or chips? Uh, can I have egg fried rice? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. There we go. If you don't know what to order, the staff will help you. Orders in. It's pronounced satire, not satai. See, I always say satai. Satai. Satai sauce, yeah. Satai. Gotta put the emphasis on the Y. Uh, would love you to walk around Costa Adeki near the Sun Wing. I'll do my best. I did a big nighttime tour of uh, Costa Adeki last week. Um, so have a little look at that. I am out again, William. No time to cook. After the day I've had, I'm not standing over and over now. I'd rather be out and about with all you. 2,000 watching. Out and about. We're all out for Chinese. Thanks for joining us. Get your, get your spring rolls out. Get your order in. Who's ordering a Chinese? Foxy Stout. Get it ordered. Get on it. Can you give me a shout out, please? Over in April 25. Hey, Satai. Oh, well. Uh, no point being in a Chinese and not trying the curry sauce. Uh, it's very English, that, though, isn't it? Curry sauce with the Chinese. I want to try something different. Something different. 
if you can hit the thumbs up, let's get to a thousand thumbs up. We've got two thousand watching. It'd be amazing. We haven't hit a thousand thumbs up during a live for a long time. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Hope you've all had a good weekend. Let me know what you've been up to as well. Uh, sounds like someone from Wolverhampton says pate. <laughs> seaweed is delicious. A lot of people say that seaweed. It's, it's like salty, isn't it? A bed. Uh, I did sort the lost car. I've still not got the key. It's been arguments going on all day. Yeah. Fun. But we live to see another day. It's another chapter in the book. Honestly, the amount of, amount of stuff I've done in the last 10 years or stories I've got from this island, you could write a book with it. We're about to Tenerife. So we are currently in Puerto Colón. This is in Costa Radecki. We're in the slow boat Chinese. If you put it in Google, it'll bring you straight here. Easiest way to find things. Put it in Google, Google Maps. There you go. Sarah, no shamrocks on this stream. No sham, we're moving on. It's a while ago. It's gone. The shaken, squoze and done. It's actually vegetables deep fried, not seaweed yet. Isn't it a little bit salty though, I think? Try seaweed, you won't go back. Shall I order some seaweed? Do you have seaweed on the menu? Uh, hello. Uh, have you got seaweed on the menu? Yeah. Can I try some? Yeah. Everyone's it's recommending good. the seaweed. Okay, seaweed, yeah, nice. Yeah, do you like it, yeah? Oh, yeah. Never tried, I'm gonna okay. give it a go. Oh, you gotta try it. Never tried seaweed. Oh. Sounds unusual, doesn't it? No, but... I like it. No. Okay, we're gonna give it a go. Is it sweet? I thought it was salty. Both. It's a bit of both. Okay. I'm looking forward to that now. I'm glad I've done it. We're going to try a little bit of seaweed. There we go. Um, Jessica, it wasn't me. Definitely not me. Um, right, if you haven't seen it, you'll have to go and see it. It is busy in here. Very busy. Very busy indeed. Um, sweet and salty, but tasty. There we go. We'll give it a go. We're trying it. It's done. It's ordered. Did you get the car back after you saw it on the live vlog? I did. I did get it back. I'm waiting on the key. There's a bit of a story there, but I can't tell a lot of the story, but I can tell some of it when it's done. It's, it's just a standard Tenerife drama. You know what I mean? Uh, you look 10 years younger in the t-shirt. There you go, look at that. Maybe I dressed too old for my age in the wacky shirts. I love the wacky shirts though. They're dead cool. 2000 tuned in, awesome numbers. Sunday night. Fantastic. If you're on your way over, have a wonderful time. Deep fried salted cabbage is seaweed. Okay. I'll tell you what, some food on that table there. It looks pretty good. Let me spin you around. Show you how busy it is in there. It's absolutely chock a block in there. Look at it. Ramoed. Absolutely ram. And then the tables out here looks. I want a little table for one on my own here. It's a table for two, but I'm on my own. I'm looking forward to this, really looking forward to it. <laughs> Making people look younger since 2024. Maybe it's the colour, Everton Blue. Uh, Striders Assemble, hit the like button. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, don't forget as well, if you're on TikTok, give me a follow. Um, we're posting little bits on there, uh, different little things, a uh, little bits of info on that. So if you're on TikTok, give me a follow. It's the Night Strider one. And also Instagram, we're on to Instagram. Don't forget the underscore Night Strider. And the Facebook group as well, fantastic group, very friendly. You can ask your questions on it. You can post your recommendations. Uh, loads of you post your buddy pictures, buddies pictures on there and stuff as well. So um, do join the Night Strider Tenerife fan group. It's a great little group. Uh, we don't have any funny business in there. It's just friendly. Uh, there's no advertisements and stuff. It's really good. Uh, Epic Phil, thank you very much for the super chat. And uh, thank you very much for your video in the bar as well, Buddies Bar. Thank you very much, Phil. Uh, I believe you got. A, I saw your post on Instagram stories with the numbers you've had on it. Amazing! Uh, so thank you very much for popping in and doing that. Oh, thank you very much. Now, Dorada time. After the day I've had, I'm on the beer. Not like me, is it? Oh, it's nice as well. That's nice. That. Now we don't have these glasses in the bar. The big tankard glasses. 
they're very heavy um, so we opted not to have these we have the more like traditional pint glass style but do you like the tankard glass on holiday you don't get these in England do you but for us in the bar the weight of them and all of that no good for us really but oh nice uh, what's happened today? Just to all kinds, just, yeah, just people getting towed away, arguments on the phone, uh, one car wouldn't start because someone had left the lights on, um, one client didn't turn up on time, I had to go to the airport, they turned up late, they kicked off because I wasn't at the office, but he'd missed his appointment, just loads of little bits and bobs, just one of those days where everything, nothing goes right. You have some days where like every client turns up on time or a little bit early and you crack through it all and then other days it just didn't go to plan uh, Lisa's feeling a bit under the weather as well so I don't know whether I've got Lisa tomorrow I've got Eric is off in um, Poland at the moment with his family because his mum's not well it's just it's all been going on uh, do you show your lives in the bar uh, we're gonna film a little bit of a, a day in the life as a bar owner type thing soon when we get a chance I've done a couple of lives in the bar recently um, and they're all going really well all going really well uh, no rest on Sundays definitely no rest for me on a Sunday I'm pretty much on my own on a Sunday uh, then getting the bus from the airport it was chock a block I had to get on the bus back and um, that was a bit of a wait getting on the bus battling on people are arguing I was in front of you, people were trying to cut the line, people were trying to jump on the back of the bus even though the, the driver's making sure everyone goes on the front of the bus, yeah. Oh. This is the chicken. salt and pepper chicken, yeah? Yeah. Okay, ooh that smells amazing. Let me show you this then, that was quick. Look at this, right. This, this is like a main in itself, I'm not going to eat all this. That's a full big portion, That's this is a salt and pepper chicken breast, deep fried. Oh, oh. Now, if I had smell vision it smells amazing. Very salt and pepper chicken. Right. There's only one thing to do now, and that's you've got to watch me eat some chicken. So, let's try it. Let's dig in. Nice. It's nice, I've got a nice flavour to it as well. Very soft chicken. Now, I'm going to agree with Shane there. It needs a little something on the side. Maybe some sweet chilli sauce or a little bit of uh, curry. He needs a little bit of something on the side. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, he needs a little bit on the side of it, but it is nice. Oh. Oh. Seaweed's just arrived as well. Yeah, he needs a little something to dip in. It's not hugely salt and peppery, but I would say it is nice. It is good. It's a different batter than I'm used to in a Chinese. It's more of like a fish and chips batter. Wow. Who made me order this? So that look appetising to you? It genuinely looks like someone's just been down the beach in Puerto Colón and grabbed a load of seaweed. But I'm going to give it a try. What is... What is what's this little bit here? What's that, you know? It's a bit sweet. Oh, okay. So you mix it in, yeah? Okay. I'm going to mix it in. Let me just show you how it looks now. And then mix it in, eh? We're giving things a try here. It looks like a bit of a uh, bit, of, bit of your nan's jumper on there, doesn't it? But I'm, I'm going to give it a go. We're going to mix it in. Let me know. Is, uh, 
it's not something you'd go, ooh, yeah, I really want to try that at first, but a lot of you seem to think it's going to be very nice. Right, I'm mixing it in. Let's give it a whirl. The things you have me doing. The things you have me trying here. Right, okay. <laughs> right. Hey, it's all right, isn't it? <laughs> it's nicer than it looks. Yeah, no, I'm. Uh, I'm with you on that. It is actually quite nice. You've um. Hey, start me on something new now. Nice. It's um, I mean, do you remember when you were a kid and you had like sports day in the summer and you went out to the field and they just cut the grass and it was like a hot day and there was all those like clumps of dried grass. It's got that texture, but the taste is nice. It does taste like I look like you're eating a big load of dried grass. <laughs> but it is nice, it's got like a nice taste to it. Mm. I'll go with that. I'll go with that. I'm going to try it with a little bit of chicken. It's different, certainly different. Anyone order seaweed, but I know who likes it. I've seen my mum eating this before. It's a very different texture. Just get in your teeth a little bit. Uh, you add the seaweed to your mane as a bit of texture. Ah, okay, so it goes with a little bit of chicken then. Kind of. Kind of. Well, we're trying something different, that's for sure. Seaweed. Would I get it again? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you got green bits in your tab. Oh, yeah, I have. Don't, don't get that if you're on a date. Oh, hey, it's still a bit there. Oh, hey. Two thousand one hundred tuned in. We're nearly at the. We're nearly at a thousand thumbs up as well. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, if you are new to the channel, a big welcome. Let us know in the chat if you are new here. If your first time tuning in, let us know. I'm going with it. It's. It's very different. I, mean, I don't. I don't dislike it. I don't love it. Uh, tried Laura's Aperol Spritz, and my husband loves it. There you go. Posted that on TikTok today. Uh, first time. Uh, welcome along, Robin. I hope you're doing well. I uh, love the tankards. Ah, the glasses, yeah, there are the glasses. Um, yeah, I did post Laura Mead and Aperol Spritz on TikTok today. And I had no idea how she normally makes it. And she makes it with all these, like, finger techniques. I had no idea. Apparently that's how the Italians make it. Oh, yeah. You okay? Oh, well, good. Good, thank you. Are you? Have a good time. Yeah. Just trying some different dishes. You recommend this great chef? First time in here, but it's chock a block. They've been turning people away. Yeah, yeah. It's very popular, so so far so good. What have you had? Got salt and pepper chicken, and they all want me to try seaweed. What do you think? <laughs> looks like cooked grass, but it's edible. <laughs> there you go. It, it, it tastes nicer than it looks. It's, it's unusual, but I've tried it. Give it a go. <laughs> Have a good night. There you go, some fellow scousers. There we go. Uh, we are in the slow boat in Costa Daki tonight. I'm making my way through some salt and pepper chicken with seaweed. It is very much like. It, I think it gets that name because it really does look like what washes up on the beach. But 
it does melt in your mouth in, in a way. I'm 50-50 with the seaweed. Loving the chicken, 50-50 with the seaweed. Uh, Slowboat Chinese, that's the one, that's where we are. Can you wish my sister uh, Kerry or Sari, hope I'm saying that right, a uh, massive happy birthday. Loves your vlogs, happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful night. Uh, even if you're not tuned in, enjoy. Um, I don't know whether I jumped to get it again, but it's one of them, I'm glad I've tried it. Everyone's got to try it for the first time at some point. I could have loved it. We've got a thousand thumbs up. Thank you very much, everyone. Keep hitting it. And if you're new to the channel, a big, big welcome. So yeah, it's... As someone's just said there, Les has just said, if you're wondering what it is, it's um, it's deep fried cabbage. It's like shredded cabbage. So I presume they get a cabbage and grate it and then put it in the deep fryer. But it has the, the visual look of seaweed. This is the uh, salt and pepper. There's a lot of salt and pepper chicken there, a lot. I'm not gonna get through all that. No way. But yeah, different. Different, I'm glad we've given it a try. Thanks for helping me out so far. Now, question for you all. You've got a friend coming to Tenerife for the first time. You can give them one recommendation. It can be anything. It can be wear, wear your sun cream. It can be brush, brush your teeth from left to right, whatever you want. What recommendation are you giving someone on their first trip to Tenerife? Uh, Matt, you're a newbie, welcome along. I uh, hope you're doing well. Thanks for uh, tuning into the channel. I uh, hope you're doing well. If you are new, uh, I am Andrew. I do live here in South Tenerife. I live in Los Cristianos. I have done for 10 years, a uh, long, long time. And uh, we do a lot of these streams, a lot of these videos for Tenerife. So uh, consider hitting the subscribe, it's all free. Uh, Alan says, get the beers in. Robin, shopping. Uh, wet, wear wet shoes in Cyan Park, good advice. Uh, get to Loch Ness. Go with the flow, Loch Ness. Uh, visit Tandoori Hut, enjoy it. Uh, avoid the Dublin on Paddy's Day, great vibes in there though. Uh, visit Buddies, thank you very much. Don't forget your sunglasses, good one, it's a good one that. We wear the lucky lucky men. I hear there's some good advice on here. Relax, don't be fooled, yeah. Have your wits about you. Watch your wallets and your stuff. Uh, go to the National Park and stay in the hotel. Go to La Caleta, oh my way, they're flying. Don't accept bracelets, yeah, good one. Check your bills, After Sun, Hideaway Cafe, Loch Ness, uh, Shamrock, <laughs> no shamrocks. Uh, be careful you don't get hard with games, yeah. Uh, don't forget the doggy bag when you go, that's the one. Go to Buddies, uh, wear trainers, not sliders. There you go, good advice. Burn your feet with the sliders. Uh, this is going really quick. Uh, El Cine, get on your live stream. Yeah, you'll see me walking around, eating the slow boats, try the little places, hard rock cocktails, hire a car and explore the island. There you go, Sandra, if you want to hire a car, sanasty.com. We, uh, you can only book direct, so if you do want to book a car with us, you have to book direct. We don't work with any third parties anymore. Uh, we haven't done for a few years, so if you do want a car, you've got to book direct with us. Um, that's the only way that we work. It's the best way that it's the way the only way we can give you the best prices but also deal directly with you as clients um so yep sanasty.com look for the euro pints get a lechi get a lechi lechi karen good one okay i'm gonna go easy on the seaweed now first trip of many if you're on your way over, you pick the UK's number one destination to go on holiday. If you've booked for Tenerife, you've made a good choice. And uh, if you see any of these silly slogans, tourists not welcome, it's incorrect. Tourists welcome, get over here. <coughs> a bit of seaweed went down the wrong way. <coughs> Whoa. 
Hey, there we go. Right. I'm a bit seaweeded out now. I feel like a bit like Nemo. I'm a bit seaweeded out. I'm glad I tried it. It's unique. Unique is how I'd describe it. <clears throat> Pay attention to the flags on the beaches. Some great suggestions coming in here. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. That looks amazing. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Well, fantastic service. Very fast. Now, I think Laura would love this dish if she could have it. Laura loves green pepper. This is very green pepperish. So, yeah, this is a lot. I'm not going to be able to eat all of this. This is getting taken away. This is lunch tomorrow. There's a lot of food going on here. Right, so here's the egg fried rice. Looks nice. Standard egg fried rice. And here is the black bean chicken. Black bean and pepper chicken breast. This is. Looks good, doesn't it? A little bit of rice going on. We'll have a little nibble there. Now, the good news is, Chinese restaurants don't know, they're not massive on the old desserts. So, I might be able to avoid a dessert tonight because normally I can't resist. But they're not usually huge on desserts, are they? It's only those little ice cream pots and stuff. Who remembers them as a kid? Getting your little um, calice, what was it, like a parrot, wasn't it? I can't eat all this. Thanks very much, guys, you know. Oh, just order some seaweed. Yeah, just get some seaweed. I'm going to be stuffed. Oh, now that's nice. That's a lot more me. Chicken is mega soft. It's like a... It's hard to ex explain the, fav the flavour. It's, it's like green pepper flavour, but it's not spicy. With like a... It's nice, it's like a soy sauce, but with a green pepper flavour to it. Brush your hair, I always brush my hair. It needs cutting again, that's what it is. Nice that. It's, um, when I say soy sauce, it's a little bit more on the saltier side, which I like. I love salty dishes. So that's why, I think she, she mentioned salt, didn't she? It's more of a saltier sauce, if that makes sense. I'm not saying the food's salty. It's like a salty side to the sauce. Nice. Very nice. So the seaweed, very unique choice. I think everyone should always try that. Give it a go, it might change your life. So this is a black bean and green pepper sauce. Uh, any new cars being added to the fleet? Yes, there is one on the way. Hopefully might be here next week. That is car number 60. Class, thanks for popping on. 2040 tuned in. If you're new to the channel, let us know. We'll have a little walk after this. We're going to uh, munch on this and then we'll have a little bit of a wander. We'll see if anything's going on. Uh, does Buzzy allow kids in? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, we've got the alcohol free cocktails, we've got all your soft drinks, we've got bottles of Prime, we've got milkshakes, we've got a lovely chocolate Oreo milkshake. Watch your vlog on the MHT Tavern. That is a really good night out, that. Really good night out. Hello. Sorry to bother you again. Yeah. But I've just Googled me missus. I yeah. Said to her, I follow you all the time, as she said. Yeah, I'll get you on. We've got to get you on. What's, Here we are. What's her name? Cheryl. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> are you doing well? Did you get a, did you get a table, yeah? 
Yeah, we've got one, yeah. Sorted. Just about. Are you going to try the seaweed? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give it a go. Hello, seaweed. Give it a go. Yeah. See what you think. So I'm a bit 50 50. Oh, thank you very much. No problem. How's it going? No worries. If you, if you do see me around, do come over and say hello. Anyone is welcome. Deborah, how's it going? What's the best gym in Las Americas? Gym. Uh, I'm going to say, Matty, you should get yourself a day pass or a weekly pass to the Mary Lanza Gym and Spa. They've got an um, aqua spa circuit and it's really nice. I think they do a package where it comes like with the gym, but it's all new machines and stuff in there. There's uh, a lot of people coming in getting a takeaway. The rice is very nice as well. I know it's just egg fried rice, but sometimes it's nicer. There's a lot of food here. A lot of food. I'm not going to reveal what car number 60 is yet. You're going to have to tune in on uh, Instagram and TikTok and that. I'll put it on the channel as well. It's something nice. And um, I got a quote on a couple of things and I had them all battling against each other for the best price. And in the end, one car and one dealership won. Any plans for an EV? Definitely not. 100% no. 100% not. Even in the UK, I wouldn't get one. So yeah, we'll have a little walk after this. A little nose around. gradually move away from YouTube and focus on TikTok? Definitely not. TikTok's just a bonus. TikTok compared to YouTube is a double. So it's just quick easy videos on, on TikTok. It's just quick easy things that aren't enough to make a full video for YouTube, if that makes sense. YouTube's going nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Any convertible tyre? Yes, we do a Volkswagen T-Rock. It's a four-seater convertible. Nice car. Well, I'm getting full. Getting very full. Um, any revenue to be had by TikTok? I don't think so. That's not what I'm in it, in it for anyway. Um, but if you read up on it, I've not even looked into it. It's um, all to do with creator programs and it's all a bit beyond me. I'll be definitely getting a doggy bag, don't worry about that. Are you on live daily? Uh, at the moment, we're doing a lot of lives, squeezing it in. It's like my little work break, this. I love coming on here, which is why we're doing a lot of lives, because I haven't got a huge amount of time to film much at the moment. But uh, bit of a mix of both. Well, in terms of this then, I would definitely come back. Service has been good. Food is all piping hot and fresh. Seaweed 50-50 with, glad I tried it though. Main dish is gorgeous, have this again. So I'll definitely come back, I might bring Dad when he's next over. Try some different places with him. But in terms of what I come back, yeah. 
it's not got phenomenal views or anything, but we'll see what the bill is like. You've seen the amount of food, there's loads. Um, we'll see what the value for money is like, because I think it's going to be good. Neil, I can remember every car, every dink and scratch, everything. All 60 number plates are in my head. Colour, car, I can tell you what little dinks are in what car, all of it. Yeah, but I can't remember any, any subscribers' names, you know what I'm like with names. I'll recognise them, I'm terrible with names, I apologise, but registration numbers, all 60 of them. All 60 of them. Yeah. What's the temperature like in August? Very hot. Very hot indeed. Okay, so we're going to get the bill. I'm going to get this to take away. We're going to have that sauce on that crispy chicken tomorrow for lunch. That's going to be nice. I've eaten all the rice. Um, the seaweed I'm not going to take away. Just not my thing. Not the restaurant's fault. Just not. I don't think that would be any good takeaway anyway. I'm going to microwave some seaweed tomorrow, are you? Ooh, first cream egg of the year. What do we think? Cream eggs. Not as good as they used to be though, are they? Never as good as they used to be. I've noticed as well, uh, some lovely subscribers brought us over some mini eggs. You really do spoil us all, honestly. Um, so a lovely subscriber brought in some, some mini eggs. And they've changed, haven't they, a bit? They're like a bit of a softer shell. Is that just me? They've got like a soft shell on them. They've changed. Sounded like me now now. Mars bars used to be double the size, they did. Okay. And um, can I have these two to take away? Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, can I hire a car from the hotel and drop it back at the airport? You can indeed, yep. Yeah, mix and match. Uh, we can deliver the car to your hotel and then you can return it at the airport. Uh, as a YouTuber, you can make more money here than TikTok, Facebook and Instagram. That's not particularly why I'm in it. We get a bit of bonus money for holidays and stuff, but for me, this is dead fun, and I get to promote the business and stuff on it, and uh, that's what I'm in it for. TikTok, it's a whole other world to me. I'm enjoying it, posting little videos and that. But it's a, it's a bit nuts, TikTok. What you want to take uh, with Those you? two. Those two, okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, they have all these people sitting there waiting for you to like dump water on them and stuff, and you send money and they soak themselves and it's all a bit nuts it's all a bit nuts for me i just throw some tips on and there you go um so guess the bill we've had the crispy chicken we've had seaweed we've had the chicken in black bean and pepper sauce and we've had the egg fried rice and a pint so guess the bill The pint was lovely as well. Look at that, see where they stuck to the glass. Nice clean glass. Good pint that. Good pint of Dorada. 35, 36, 42, 21, some really low ones. 40, 40, 32. Let's see, we're about to find out. 23, 45. Interesting. As you can see, the portions were massive. Massive, not like me to get a takeaway. A lot of food there. A lot of food. You could have shared all that for two, really. Matty, 24 euros. Remember, this is euros, not pounds, remember. Euros, not pounds. Some bars around here are bouncing. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's lovely. Very nice. Oh. Yes, thank you very much. Staff are lovely. Oh, here we go. The bill already. Uh, I'll do it with the card and then I'll do the. 29. Can, yeah. can I add? Yeah. Uh, five on? So uh, 34. Yeah. Thank you, bro. No problem. Thank you very much. It was lovely. Thank you. Very nice. And I've got lunch tomorrow. Ah, uh, it's good. Could I have a coffee yeah, as well? Of course. Perfect. 
Thank you very much. Okay, so I didn't have any cash on me. Fatal mistake. A lot of people say, should have been cash or card. Bring a bit of both. I couldn't tip the man because I didn't have any card, uh, cash, but I've tipped him by cards. I think they prefer it in cash. So, the total bill for one Dorada pint, one fried salt and pepper chicken, one chicken with black bean, one egg fried rice and one seaweed. The total came to a very reasonable 29 euros. It's a good price, that isn't it? 29, and then I paid 34 because I did add five on as a tip. So, staff were brilliant. But there you go, that's why you should bring a bit of cash with you. Because I didn't have any cash, I normally have a bit of cash in my wallet. And uh, I've had to tip with cards, which isn't as nice really, I don't think. But I've tipped anyway. Um, Lance, thank you very much for the super chat, much appreciated. Uh, great channel there on the 31st of May, not too far along. I can't believe it's April soon, can't believe it. Right, let's go for a little bit of a walk then. Let's go around Puerto Colón, let's see what's happening. We spin it around. And let's uh, make a move. Okay. Nice to see you. Have a good time. Thank you very much. So that's where we've just been, the slow boat Chinese. You can see very busy in there as well. And uh, away we go. Right. So that was delicious. And I've got my lunch for tomorrow and all. Lovely, lovely. And a little, got, even got the uh, theme boat, theme bag with slow boats on. Galway Gale, bit of singing on. Right. Let me know your thoughts on the value there then. 29 euros. Good deal, isn't it? Good price, that. Good price. A lot of food for the money. A lot of food. You see why it's so full. So, Keg and Church. All closed up and done. I think they were probably bouncing this afternoon. They have a lot going on in there. Uh, love your response to the chat. Uh, you do this because uh, you love it. Yes, indeed. Uh, despite what a lot of people say or think, um, I think that shows as well. Coming on, I only get like a spare hour a day and I love to come on and do this. This is what I enjoy, walking around and meeting people, showing people where they can go on holiday and stuff. What else would I be doing now? Sat at home watching TV. I'd rather be on here with 2,022 people having a Chinese. That's a bit more me. Right, we're just going to walk through. And uh, let me know what you think we should have a little wonder then. Have a little mooch about with the old lodge here. Bit of music on in the old lodge, Prayer to Cologne. Unfortunately, I've got to avoid a bit of uh, Queen here. I've got to be careful. Hiya. I've got to uh, avoid that music. He's definitely going to strike me for that. <laughs> definitely got to be uh, careful with music on the old uh, YouTube. It was uh, quite loud walking through there. Probably not my best idea. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's gone very quiet, hasn't it? Very quiet. Look at this. Where is everyone? <laughs> it feels like about midnight. Well, I think we should head back along the seafront, I think. Towards Las Americas. Head back along that way. I think is what we should do. We've still got 2,000 tuned in. Let's get to 1,500 thumbs up. Please do hit the like button. If you're new to the channel as well, a massive welcome. Hit the subscribe. It's all free to enjoy the channel. And uh, full of different tips, advice, all kinds to do with Tenerife. Uh, I should walk home after eating all that. I really should. I tell you what, the Hugo Boss top's not fitting too well now. <laughs> I'm absolutely stuffed. There's a lot of food in there. It was nice though. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, we love your videos. Gives us uh, so much useful info. And also love your little laugh. Thank you very much. That's what it's all about, isn't it? A bit of escapism. A bit of company for people. A lot of people tune in and they, uh, they don't have a lot going on at home or they can be quite lonely and stuff. So... We keep them, you, well, I keep them company and they keep me company, if that makes sense. It's, uh, it's a great little community that we've got on here. Right, let's head to a little bit of action then, because it's very quiet and prayer to Cologne. Other than those restaurants and those couple of bars. Very quiet, what's going on? Very dark as well. 
No street lamps on here. No street lamps at all. All the boats docked up, they'll all be out and about tomorrow if it's sunny. They'll all be out and about. Everyone itching to get on them. How's it going, James? Like lockdown, I know what's going on. Very quiet here, very dark as well. We'll get back into Las Americas in a minute with the action. Have a little look at Veronica's on a Sunday night. You know what I enjoyed about that Chinese as well? It was quick. There wasn't too much waiting around, was there? It was uh, nice and speedy, which was nice. Uh, what? Oh. They're arguing down there. Jeez. Blow my neck. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> That's some argument, that. <laughs> Blow my neck. <laughs> I need to go and have a meal in the uh, slow boat and calm down. Half term next week, yes. So, so can, it, can we get much busier? It's already mental be even busier next week even busier I could hear that yeah <laughs> that was intense wasn't it that was me this afternoon that <laughs> that was me <laughs> oh. that sounded like I felt this afternoon I felt like doing that <laughs> don't we all have days like that don't we Wonder what that was over. <laughs> Sounds like the wife. Um, uh, oh, you're going to be in trouble order. doing that. <laughs> you'll be in trouble saying that. Well, we're making our way to a busier spot because it's a bit of a ghost town around here. Travelon mentioned that this morning. He said he came down here at night and it was very quiet. And uh, I've got to agree, a bit of a ghost town, isn't it, really? We'll get back into the Las Americas action in a moment. Well, other than those few restaurants, there wasn't a huge amount going on, was there? So how many of the 1900 tuned in are on their way over this month? How many are over this week, next week, coming over for Easter? It's earlier this year. How many of you are on the way? Excited to get over here and enjoy yourselves. Uh, give us a shout out to uh, my man, Jub. How's it going, Jub? Over in September, coming on Friday. Oh, Friday's gonna be a busy day at the airport then. Over for my 50th on Thursday, have a wonderful time, Darren. Do something nice on your 50th as well, treat yourself. Treat yourself, when you get over here, treat yourself. Go and have some nice meals, some nice drinks. A lot of you have worked hard to get here. It's not cheap to get to Tenerife anymore. So when you're here, make the most of it. The great value is all still here. The exchange rate's not too bad. You've seen the value for money just there, 29 euros for all that. I could have split that between two of us. You're looking at 15 euros each there if you split it. I'm walking home with half of it. Uh, going for my mum's birthday this week, fantastic. Nowhere's cheap now, no, not really. There's no cheap flights anymore, is there, to anywhere really? A little Tenerife cat. He knows what he's doing. Cute little cat. Coming to Tenerife on Wednesday. Have an amazing time as well. Still got 1900 tuned in. Amazing numbers. Do please hit that like button and that thumbs up button underneath the video. 
really does help us out. A big welcome to the channel. Tomorrow, a much sunnier day on the way, it looks like with the forecast, hopefully. So that'll be nice. Lanzarote, 6th of April. Make sure you're following Travel On for Lanzarote. He's your guy for Lanzarote. Florida for three weeks instead this July. Very nice, Amanda. I'm jealous. Anyone off to Florida? Super jealous. Get yourself in a bar and uh, catch up. <laughs> Having a Swifty pie. I don't know whether I'll have a Swifty beer. We'll see. We've done 80 minutes already. It's gone quickly. 80 minutes already. Had a nice little pint there. I am driving, so probably won't have anything else now. I uh, do have to be sensible. So uh, I doubt I'll have any other extra drinks, but I do. I am going to have a good little walk around Veronica's, though. We'll have a good look at Veronica's. What time is it, everyone? It's... What, we're coming up to nine o'clock? Nine o'clock. Might be a few more people on Veronica's now. Do you know anything about... The refurbishment of Oro Blanco in May. I'm not sure. It does need it. Doesn't I mentioned this on the live the other day? Uh, it's the rooms are fine, but they're very dated. I've been in them. Uh, the room that I went in, it had no TV, like a broken kettle and stuff like that. So Oro Blanco is quite dated. It would be great if they refurbished it because it's in a good spot. I subscribe, thank you very much. Welcome along if you're a new subscriber. A big welcome to the channel, welcome to Tenerife. We're in Las Americas now, pretty much. And uh, thank you for popping on. Any idea about Panoramica Heights? Uh, great, a great resort, very nice standard. The only thing is we, we deliver a lot of cars up there because people get there and then they don't realize just how steep and long the hill is. So walking down into town is fine, but walking back up, it's a long, steep hill, so a lot of people end up calling us and hiring cars. So bear that in mind, you've got to be very fit. If you're not fit, you're going to want to hire a car. Or you'll be uh, paying quite a bit in taxis uh, up and down the hill. So it's something to consider that, especially if you've got like a, a, a child or a baby in a push chair, pushing it all the way up that hill. It's, well, you'd be knackered after a couple of days. You'd be knackered of, after doing that. But the views from there are spectacular. When I deliver there, I sort of do the booking next to the pool area and the views are stunning. Absolutely gorgeous up there. Ever been to Bahia Principe? Deliver there all the time. Gorgeous hotel. Some of these resorts are stunning. They really are. It's very quiet, isn't it? Where is everyone? Very quiet, very strange. Has the weather put people off or what? <clears throat> uh, we do get healthcare. Yes, as long as you've got a job and you're paying into the system. Uh, if you don't have a job and you're not paying into the social security, then uh, you don't get the healthcare. So as long as you're working, you've got a job, you can have access to the, the healthcare, yep. Yeah. Uh, do you need a car if you're staying in the Hard Rock? Uh, the Hard Rock is in a, a decent area, but it's quite... The town it's in, Playa Paraiso, once you're there, you can't really walk down to here, for example. You've got to drive out and drive along the coast to get to Adeki, Fania Bay, all of these areas. So again, we deliver there all the time. Because people get there, they have a few days by the pool, they explore a bit of Playa Paraiso, which has got one little beach, a couple of restaurants, and then they get fed up and they're like, I want to get further afield. I want to go to Las Americas. It's costing me a fortune in taxis. So Hard Rock is hotel wise out the way. If you're going to stay by the pool all day, chill, stay in the hotel, which is what they want, then it's fine. But we meet so many people who are just fed up after a couple of days and they just want to get out and play a Paraiso for a change because you can't walk along the coast from there. 
Well, it's still very quiet, isn't it? We're coming up to Bora Bora now, some of these very cheap value restaurants. The one euro beers and all that. Here comes Bora Bora on the left. Breakfast, 3 95 for breakfast. Busy as always in there, it always is busy. Yeah, still tables free though. It's a quiet night tonight. Quiet night. Uh, sisters booked Hard Rock, I think, because it looks posh. It is very posh, it's a gorgeous hotel. Uh, I don't think she realised how far out it is, that's the problem. It, the hotel, you look at it and you go, oh, I've got a bucket, it looks amazing. But the area it's in, it's, yeah, there's not a huge amount going on. There really isn't. Well, very quiet. Let's see if Veronica's is any busier. I'm surprised how quiet it is tonight. And as I say, it's not even cold because I'm still just in my t-shirt. So it's not even like it's cold out here. It's, uh, it's actually very pleasant. So I'm surprised with how busy the island is in general, how quiet it is out here. <clears throat> that area is not quiet in the daytime. So yeah, maybe it's a bit more of a, a daytime place. Let's see what Veronica's is like. Well, they put the Hard Rock in the wrong location. They did, as Catherine said, but they did that because they were able to build a big high rise like they wanted in that area. And uh, the council and the government said, yeah, you can build it like that, but we want you to build this for us and that for us and put this much money into that for us. And Hard Rock did it all. So it was the only way they could build that hotel like they have. There's no space to build in a decky. No space in Las Americas, Los Cristianos, for what they wanted. The only place they could do it was there. And the only reason they got away with high rises is because they paid for a lot of things for the government and the council. That's what I've been told anyway. And I do believe that's true as well. <clears throat> to build the two of them the way they did, I think they, uh, they did a lot of things that the, <clears throat> the council wanted. Have you ever been to the Soul Suites? I love the Soul Suites, Louise. I recommend it all the time. Love the Soul Suites. Been in there on live streams and stuff as well. It's absolutely brilliant in there. <clears throat> love it. If you love your soul music, Soul Suites, Park La Paz Strip in Las Americas. It's, uh, it's brilliant. Another little soul place is coming up on the left, which is the Night Owl. Uh, Owl. Never been in there, but it's, again, meant to be great for the live soul music. Uh, what about the Revron Plaza? Uh, that's the one in the middle of town, isn't it? Um, it's very traditional Spanish feel to it. People might say it looks dated. It's more the style. It's more the dark wooden Spanish feel to that hotel. Uh, you love Marshall's bars. Popular one, that Gary. So many great bars now, isn't there? And everyone offers a little bit of something different and. They all do very well. And that's good because it, the trend was becoming a little bit that everyone was staying in the hotels, staying in the hotel bars. The hotels make a fortune. It's nice to come out and support some of these little small local bars. Like that one there, the Night Owl. It's not huge, but it's meant to have a fantastic vibe in there. Is that them all dancing inside, is it? Or is that a video of something else? Have a quick look at the, the Night Owl. The home of Northern Soul. Ah, is, that, is that them all dancing downstairs, is it? There you go, there's, that's them all dancing to the uh, to the Northern Soul, and that's a live cam, so if you like a bit of Northern Soul dancing, that's your place down there. There you go. There you go, you like a bit of a, a, bit of a boogie. They're having a good time. Might bring Dad down here. We'll get him in there. <laughs> Imagine Dad's Northern Soul dancing, that'll be funny. That'll be funny. Uh, Nikki, happy birthday. Hope you had a lovely day. Right, fun Grube. Do you want me to show you some of the 
Christ is for the duty free. Have they got a lot? They've got a lot of music on in here. That's the problem. There's a lot of music happening, so I can't really show you too much because of the music. That's the problem. Is the music? Some of these are meant to be pretty discounted. One million lady, sixty-five euros. Some, someone do a price check on that for me. And the Paco Rabanne Fame is uh, meant to be down from one hundred and twenty-nine to seventy-four ninety-five. Someone wants to price check those for me. I'll take you in, but I'll end up with a music strike and it's, it's not worth it. It's, uh, when it happens, it, it's a load of setting changes and stuff. So we will avoid if someone wants to price check those uh, perfumes though, you'll see what the prices are like in Tenerife. So 75 euros for the Paco Rabanne Fame. Is that a good price? Uh, is who in trouble? I don't know who we're talking about. Uh, will you be doing more hotel reviews? I'd love to. I did one last week on the channel. It didn't do great on the views. Uh, fantastic hotel though, right up Tady. Very interesting. Ah, she's behind on the chat. Ah, okay. The, the woman screaming in the car. Yeah, I looked in, I couldn't really see anything. Is there nothing you can do in a situation like that? If you go and ask for help, offer to help, you probably end up even worse. Right, here we go then. Veronica Strip. Party time. Get your party shoes on, guys. Uh, if you want to come down here at night, uh, do look after your stuff. Be very careful. If you do be careful, you will have a great time. Uh, let's see, price-wise on that. Uh, as of the Packer Raban fame is 78.50 in Cyprus. It's 138 pounds in England, wow. Can anyone get to the very top? The very, very top, uh, it is exclusive. You do have to apply online and get a special permit to walk to the top of Tadis. So you have to get the cable car and you have to have a permit that you apply for online to walk to the very, very top. I've done it before as a kid. I haven't done it recently. Uh, it's free, but you, they only give a certain number of permits out per day and per week to walk to the very peak of Tady. Have you ever been to Lanzarote? I have. I stopped there on a cruise last year. The vlog is on the channel. Just search for Night Strider Lanzarote, it'll come up. But yeah, I did do a uh, little uh, trip to Lanzarote on a cruise. Hey, no, no, no. There you go then. Veronica Strip. Joycey, yeah, it's a little bit busier than when we started, isn't it? Envy. Oasis, yeah, a lot busier. A lot more people heading out now for the night. By 11 o'clock, this will be pretty busy down here for a Sunday. The weekend, always the busiest down here. Some of them fill up earlier than others, so Oasis is very quiet there, but later on, that will fill up. The one that fills up the quickest is normally Sugar Reef down here. Sugar Reef, Jumping Jacks, O'Neill's. Uh, Bobby's Bar is not here at the, anymore. Loads of those videos on YouTube though. You can watch all of those old videos about Bobby's Bar and stuff on the channel. Not on my channel, but there is a YouTube channel that has them all on. But there you go. So yeah, Sugar Reef always a little bit busier first thing. And Jumping Jacks as well. I don't know, maybe they have a special offer on or something, but these two were always a little bit busier earlier on. There you go, that woman in there is having a good little bop, isn't she? She's having a good time. Look at that, she's in Tenerife, isn't she? Look, let me just zoom in. There you go, look, she's hit, she knows she's in Tenerife there. Look at that. That's what you want, isn't it? I'm in Tenerife, no work in the morning. Lovely. Few Dorados, feeling good. Uh, that's what those afternoon pina coladas do to you. That's it. You're in there then. No work in the morning. Lovely. <laughs> Shaking those shamrocks. There you go. So a little bit of luck at uh, Veronica's. Uh, give it another hour. It'll be a lot busier down there in another hour or so. You can see it's a lot busier now on the streets as well, isn't it? A lot busier out and about. Here's a lot of a lounge. I do like it for a little drink in there. It's uh, above the action, you can see what's going on. But uh, you do sort of stay safe and out the way up here. They've got live entertainment on as well in uh, Lava. 
in there. Well, there we go. I think we're going to round it off here. Thank you, uh, thank you all very much for tuning in. Fantastic stream, loved it. Like the Chinese, slow boats, very good value. I've got indigestion. I've eaten far too much. Wow. Well, no, thank you very much. Do please hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe if you're new. I'll be back again tomorrow. Let's hope the weather continues to improve. But yeah, great night. Thanks very much for coming on, everyone. We had 2,000 viewers, absolutely amazing. And uh, there we go, a new Chinese for you to try in Costa Radecki, the slow boat in Puerto Colón. Put it in Google, it'll take you straight there. But there we go, have a fantastic week. Enjoy yourselves, treat yourself as well. Don't work too hard. And uh, stride on, I will see you all again tomorrow, probably.